What's going on everybody? Trisha Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd. This is just gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to mark up images that you upload to your service software. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm gonna start with my favorite one. The best way, in my opinion, to do this is just to take a picture with the native camera app on iOS. I'm assuming you're using iOS for this demonstration, by the way. In this example, we're just gonna take a picture of this furnace and coil. Now down at the bottom of the screen, we're gonna see three little dots. You see that? We're just gonna tap that and then tap markup. And that's gonna open up this screen where we have all of these tools. We have uh, a marker, a highlighter, a pencil and eraser, a lasso tool, and then a color selector. And then on the far right, there's also a little plus sign where we can get some additional tools. Now you can just do this with your finger, but it's gonna be a much, much better experience if you have an iPad with some sort of writing device. So if you're not sure what kind of devices are out there, I've got a whole separate video on my opinions on that. And there should be a link on the screen here if you wanna go check that out. So I'm just gonna draw out in this example, uh, the height and the width of the furnace, the coil, now these tools have a lot of options. You can do things like change the width of your marker. And let's say in this example that uh, we're going to be replacing that uh, vinyl tubing. So, uh, and it's a little hard to see in the picture. So I'm gonna bust out the highlighter, kind of highlight it. And then I'm going to use that little plus sign and use an arrow, kind of point an arrow over to it and just write replace tube. Okay, cool. Uh, now let's say uh, we're also going to be replacing this pump, this condensate pump. So. I can use the magnifier down there because it's kind of hard to see to kind of just put that right there, make it extra obvious what we're talking about. Cool, and then let's get a marker uh, and use a different color. Let's go with that. Uh, and I'm gonna write replace pump. And then I'm going to get an arrow that's that same color and I'm gonna kind of point it over there, kind of curve it in. Sure, that looks good. And what's great about this tool is you have a lot of flexibility. You can move things around. You can kind of circle it with that lasso tool and drag it someplace else if you don't like where you put it. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, options, a lot of flexibility. Okay, so then we would just hit done, and that's gonna save it to our camera roll. Now we can go into whatever program we're using. In this example, I've got Service Titan, uh, and I can just upload that photo to our job or wherever we're uploading it. Kind of go to the camera roll, select it, boom. Okay, now if you've got Service Titan, you can also do this directly in Service Titan. Uh, so the way you would do that is you could just take a picture through that little camera icon down there, say take photo, or you can just upload one that you've taken already. And then in the upper right hand corner, you've got those three dots, tap that, and then choose doodle. Uh, and then you get this kind of version of what we just looked at with the built-in uh, native iOS version. Although this one is a little bit more simplified. You can't really change the width of your brush. You don't have uh, you know infinite color options. You've just got that yellow, red, blue, green. Uh, you can type in notes, which is kind of cool, although I had some trouble with it, you'll see later in this example. Uh, so I'm do, kind of doing the same thing. No highlighter, but I can say replace two, I can draw arrows. Uh, there's no eraser. There's no eraser, which is kind of annoying. So if you mess up or you put something that you don't like, the only way to get rid of it is to use the undo button. So if it was a few steps back, the only way to get rid of it is to you know, undo the three things you did since then. Kind of annoying. Now, when I was filming this, you can see here, I was having some trouble with the text. I was trying to put some more text and it says double tap to edit. I'm double tapping, I'm trying everything. It's not bringing up my keyboard. Uh, so I'm just kind of adding more and more, getting frustrated. Yeah, I couldn't get it to, to work. So it just says double tap to edit and then I, you know, get kind of mad. Yep. So, you know, as you can see, that one's a little bit, uh, it's a little dodgy. I mean, it's there, you can use it. But in my opinion, the one built into iOS is better. There's also standalone apps if you really want to get fancy with it. But, um, you know, really, in my opinion, the built-in one to iOS is going to be all you need. You can just upload that directly to Service Titan or whatever you're using. That's going to give your installers, the next tech who comes out or whoever, some more uh, rich information than just a picture by itself. Anyways, that's all I've got. Just a quick one for today because I am about to be heading out to Arizona for a business trip. If you like these videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. That really helps me out. I've got some big things coming down the pipeline, so you don't want to miss it. Keep an eye out. Thanks.